what inspired the build houses? I mean, was it just unbuildable lots? That's right. Yes. Yeah, it was a challenge. Yeah. A man named Ronald Buck uh -huh. knew my work, and uh, he uh, said, I have a whole series of lots I bought, and they're unbuildable. And uh, he says, what can you do with them? They were, I think they were 25 feet wide. Mm -hmm. They were for cabins, cabin sites. And uh, in the er early days of the subdivision of those hills up there, off of uh, La Cienega. Mm -hmm. And um, I, um, he had said, what can you do with them? And I said, I'll design something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no problem. I always took a challenge. As, in fact, that was the only thing I was really interested in in architecture, was something that was unique. And the site, sites were very unique. And uh, we decided that a, a very small house would be the answer, so that each lot could be individual, instead of just taking it as a block of land. And. Uh, I really enjoyed that project, and I got myself a crew of Norwegian shipbuilders that had just come over here and wanted to establish themselves as a crew. And um, they had built what was called in Sweden uh, and Norway staff churches. And those were the carved uh, wood, old style churches. Very interesting looking. I, I can't describe them because nobody knows what it is unless you're a Norwegian or a Swede. And anyway, they loved the whole idea of, of raising the beams and, and working with ac hand axes. They shaped everything with a hand axe, not a chainsaw or a skill saw, but uh, uh, hand axes, and they were very, very sharp, and they kept them sharp. And um, uh, they did a good job. I was just amazed at how they worked, especially in the, at the heights they were working. They were 50, 60 feet off of the ground, straight down, if, because the hills were so, uh, the sites were so steep. And uh, <clears throat> to s facilitate the building of the uh, foundations, I designed them so they sat on one foundation. Mm 